Hi, we're back here again with Ann Zuvalakis, the CFO of Bonnie Bray. And Ann, that's quite a big job because you get so many boys from so many different areas in New Jersey, from Cape May to Sussex to Newark to Patterson. And it must be quite complicated um, keeping track of all of that uh, finance. How do you do it? Well, we have a good team and uh, we have an electronic record system. So those two things together helps to make it a, a doable job. So as I understand it, Bonnie Bray, the primary funding comes from the Sending School District and Medicaid right. and fundraisers like right. we're having here at Plainfield Country Club. That's right. We primarily um, bill Medicaid for the residential treatment services that we um, provide and the um, sending districts will pay for the tuition for the schooling for the boys and then um, the special programs that we run like the Canada trip or the Disney trip that's coming up are um, paid for by the fundraisers from our supporters. It's really exciting and uh, we have four major fundraisers a year for Bonnie Bray, the Tartan Classic, the Tartan Ball, and the Scottish Festival and the Polo Classic. So it's, uh, it's, a, great, it's a great thing that you do and thanks for keeping track of all that money. <laughs> My pleasure, thank you. I'm very pleased to introduce our next guest, Rich Gentilla. He is a longtime supporter of Bonnie Bray and the co-chair of this evening's event. And Rich, great, great job today. Um, couldn't have been better. And I understand you were in charge of the weather? I was in charge of the weather, Nancy. Thank you very much. We had a, uh, we're very fortunate this year. We had a sellout crowd for Bonnie Bray, uh, Tartan Classic. Um, this has been a number of years in a row that we've done this. Uh, part of this is for the hard work of Nancy Larson and the rest of our you know, wonderful committee. They work very hard uh, behind the scenes pulling together um, silent auction items, live auction items. Um, we've raised uh, thousands and thousands of dollars. It all goes to Bonnie Bray School for Boys. Uh, we're very, very happy to have the um, event here at Plainfield Country Club. The course is in just wonderful shape. Uh, the staff is very accommodating, um, you know, for our event. Uh, it's a beautiful venue, very famous. The food's delicious, and uh, everybody seems to be having a wonderful time. Uh, of course, it's very challenging, I might add. We had uh, some very low scores this year. Uh, I think they must have used their mulligans, which we had for sale in the beginning. But um, it was just a wonderful day, and uh, I'm back to Nancy. Okay. Well, Rich, thank you very much, and, and thanks for all your efforts. We really appreciate everything that you do for Bonnie Bray, and it's a great event, and thanks for being here. Thank you, Nancy. Okay. Okay, thank you, Steve. And I'm here with Jamie Rao, and Jamie Rao is the clinical director at Bonnie Bray, and Jamie is the reason why we have such good turnout with uh, the boys that I uh, believe that 92 went to the vacation in Canada and um, he's done an amazing job and basically Bonnie Bray um, takes boys from ages 11 to 18. Well, we now take boys from 8 until 18. We just got a new contract with the state uh, to treat boys from the ages of 8 to 12. So we have our, our first two 8 year olds so we're expanding our ages and uh, so we're still at 92 boys in a five-bed uh, group home in New Brunswick, and it's events like this um, that allow us to continue to provide the service for the boys because we get uh, the contract that we have um, doesn't reimburse us for our entire cost. So no. it is these kind of events and everyone's generosity that really helps us continue our mission, and so I was glad to be a part of it and uh, look forward to the event again next year. Well, that's great, Jamie, and thanks. And and, and Jamie was my partner today yes, in golf, and we had a fine time. It was a we beautiful really day. Thank you. Thank you, Stephen. We're here with Darren Garrison, and Darren is the head of development for Bonnie Bray, and Darren's responsibilities basically include all fundraising efforts, uh, cultivation of, of donors, and it's really quite quite an undertaking. How uh, How's it going so far for you? Uh, so far, so good. I've been uh, at Bonnie Bray since mid-April, and uh, I've enjoyed the experience and its events like tonight that, that help the cultivation effort and, and development overall. So. That's great. And um, Darren, you've got, do, do you actually interact with the boys on a day-to-day -day basis, or is that something that um, the clinical staff does? Yeah. Uh, not on a day-to-day -day basis, but I do make, uh, make it a point to get out and, and to shake some hands and say hello and encourage them and 
uh, every way that I can, but uh, not on a day-to-day -day basis. No, that's a, that's a tough job for the clinical staff. It absolutely is. And in fact, uh, Mr. Powers, who we spoke to earlier, Bill Powers, um, he has been amazing bringing the boys out into the forefront. So they're boys just like our kids. Mm -hmm. And uh, they don't have a third eye. They don't have a you know an extra elbow. They're they're kids just like our boys, Absolutely. and uh, it's a great cause. And we're glad you're here. And thanks very much for all your efforts. Well, thank you, and and thank you for all your hard work along with the committee in putting together the Tartan Classic. Uh, it's a great event, and uh, we couldn't do it without volunteers like yourself. So Good. thank you. Thank you, Darren. Okay, I'd just like to conclude this evening um, by thanking everyone who participated. We could not have done it with all the volunteers, the staff, the dedicated people that work at Bonnie Bray and also volunteer at Bonnie Bray. And of course, um, it's all about the boys. It's so important for these young men to be trusted. And Bonnie Bray is a great, great mechanism and program. And uh, we're delighted to be here. And with that, we'll say goodnight. Thanks very much.